season up the way you want it, and then just let it cook until it's done. One of Denver's longest serving barbecue establishments, founded and long operated by a pro football hall of famer, is closing. Winston Smoke Barbecue, named after Winston Hill, the blind side protector for Joe Namath, first started serving its rich pit smoked meat 43 years ago. Not overdone. I've been uh, eating barbecue since I was a young man. I've tried all the other ones around and I think this is by far the best. Winston Hill was the New York Jets left tackle in the 60s and 70s who was recently inducted posthumously into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Hill and his wife had moved to Denver the year before the Jets stunned the Baltimore Colts in Super Bowl III. Still considered to this day as the biggest upset in NFL history. My dad had asthma and so his lungs didn't get the treatment they needed and so his coaches were like, Winnie, they used to call him Winnie, Winnie, you're sucking wind. The best thing you can do is move out to that high country and that way you'll be in, in shape when you get back in the fall and you hit us up in New York. So mom and dad went on a road trip and they found their way to Greenwood Village and bought acreage and built a house there and we were raised there and the rest is history. After Hill passed away in 2016, his daughters Hovelin and Heather continued to run his barbecue business in Centennial from afar with the help of pitmaster Ron Mitchell. Uh, what I like most about it is watching people enjoy it. The daughters grew up around the barbecue business, proudly admitting they worked for dad long before the legal work age. Going forward, Hill's daughters will redirect their efforts on a scholarship they have set up at Hill's alma mater, Texas Southern. The Finish Like a Pro scholarship is aimed towards juniors and seniors um, studying some kind of athletic, medical related area at Texas Southern University and that's where we decided to really focus continuing his legacy, although we love the barbecue, it's been part of our, our life. I might have a little bit of um, barbecue sauce running through these veins, I don't know. An Iron Man who went 12 consecutive years without missing a game, Winston Hill retired in the late 1970s and hooked himself up with none other than Daddy Bruce Randolph on the art of smoke pit barbecue. The depth of the smoke, the sauce is the best, the beans are fantastic, and the coleslaw is, I mean, it's just like, you can't get it any better than this here. Thank you for your support and your patronage. We were so blessed to be able to be a part of this um, community and have our dad engage in that way. It meant, it brought so many people together, so many friendships, and we just, we are so grateful. Mike Kliss, Nine News.